chemicals industry is huge and we've been highlighting different segments and their outlook. Let's now talk about one segment which continues to take a back seat in the global chemical and energy debate. After bulk chemicals and specialty chemicals, it is petrochemicals that contributes 20% to the overall kitty. Found across a vast range of modern products, petrochemicals are part of the fabric of our societies. The feedstock accounts for 12% of global oil demand, a share that is expected to increase driven by increasing demand for plastics, fertilizers and other products. They are also found in many parts of the modern energy system, including solar panels, wind turbine blades, batteries, thermal insulation for buildings and electric vehicle parts. Industry revenue is largely tied to fluctuation in crude oil prices. Remember, bread and crude prices, they decreased from $50 per barrel levels last year to $30. As a result, petrochemical companies showed a broad revenue decline last year in quarter 1 FY21. Petrochemicals are derived from hydrocarbons such as propane, ethane, butane or other components which are separated from crude oil and natural gas liquids. Naphtha which is a mixture of flammable liquid hydrocarbons is also important in the production of products made from petrochemicals. After being separated in some sort of distillation process, the separated hydrocarbons can be fed to a manufacturing facility known as cracker. This cracker works to break chemical bonds in hydrocarbon materials which allows them to be converted into more useful chemicals for production. Now I'm just giving you a sense of the process chart. From crude oil, we get the major hydrocarbons such as methane, ethane, propane and butane and those are individually processed to produce either commodity chemicals or specialty chemicals. This list is not exhaustive but I'm highlighting the major ones here. For instance, from ethane, ethylene is produced and that is used to make major poly polymers like HDPE which is basically plastic. Also used to make polyester, we have PVC, ethyl alcohol which is used in pharmaceutical and food packaging industry. For propane, propylene is made which is used in chemicals we all must have heard of like acetone, phenol which is produced by Deepak Nitride. Then we have solvents used in inks, plasticizers in other industries. Let's talk about methane now which is used to produce methanol, a raw material used to make amines and is largely imported in India. It is then used to produce resins, we have acetic acid and used in different industry. Lastly, naphtha, which is used in making benzene and toluene and a lot of companies like Arthi Industries, GSFC use these to make their products. These are also used in furniture, electronic segment, etc. And of course, there are some used in paper, marine industry, agrochemicals, adhesives to name a few. Jeffrey says petrochemical product demand is expected to grow at 4% over the next decade, that is for the world, and India's petrochemical demand is expected to grow by 8% over the next 10 years. They also said that polymer spreads are at a decade high on strong downstream demand and sustained demand should keep spreads at a higher level. The Indian petrochemical industry is highly dependent on imports with over 65% of the installed refining capacity dependent on crude oil. About 80% of India's petrochemical capacity is integrated with refineries and this gives India an edge in terms of petrochemical feedstock certainty. India ranks 6th in imports and 9th in global exports of chemicals and chemical products. Its imports increased at a rate of 5.5% between FY16 to FY20 with petrochemical intermediates accounting for a major share of over 30% in total imports. Some upcoming petrochemical projects include the likes of Naira Energy in Gujarat which is under construction with investment of $6.8 billion, RRPCL which is a joint venture of IOC, HPCL and BPCL with a $40 billion investment plan. Petrochemical companies have several challenges to overcome on their road to recovery. Some capacity addition is expected in different geographies which will increase global supply. Complicated and integrated industry but a lot of action is happening here.